All right, so, hey, Wayne, happy birthday, buddy. Sorry I couldn't be in uh, Northern Virginia or D.C. or Maryland or whatever street corner you're living in now to give you this personally. Um, unfortunately, uh, my family still likes me, and so I don't want to rub it in, but I'm out with my family out in Denver, Colorado, a um, place you've probably never been uh, this place has got more white people than the Republican National Convention. I'm not sure how well you would uh, fit in here. Actually, I guess somebody around here does need to sharpen the skis. <laughs> Lord knows we can't be bothered to do it. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so dude, happy birthday. How old are you now? 56? Something like that, right? 57? I mean, I you know don't 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 get me wrong. I'm not hating. I mean, you know, uh, for a man of your age, you still have abs, which is great. I have a flab. Um, I'm a lot younger, <laughs> better looking, eminently more successful. But then again, there are, there are dudes who live in the dumpsters outside of Union Station who are like handing you dollar bills because they feel bad. You see. I know. Uh, which is bum speak for <laughs> at least people give me money. You know, it's a, it's a damn shame. I, uh, when was the last time you had a hot meal? And I'm curious, because, like, you've been out of a, you've been out of a job. I mean, you've been out of a job for so long that, like, <laughs> like, even President Obama can't give you enough hope for your life to change. Like, he just couldn't do it because there's just no hope anymore. You know, I you know I always wondered, like, when I was a kid, like, wow, why do adults, like, just throw themselves off bridges? You know, they, they, they get to stay up past 11. You know, they get to, you know, they get to say cuss words. They get to drink beer once in a while. I mean, being an adult must be great. You know? And I see you, and I'm like, oh, jeez. It's all crystal clear. It's a damn shame, really. It's a damn shame. I mean, the thing is, like, Wayne, to be honest, you're a good-looking dude. You really are. You know, you got those teeth, those big, big, white, shiny teeth that, uh, allow me to see you in a darkened room, all I got to do is just say, hey, Wayne, smile, and you go, Ting, and then it's like, oh, okay, cool, I don't need my night vision goggles to see you, because it's like, I, I can see you then, and that's, that's kind of cool, but uh, uh, it's like, you know, you got a lot going for you, you know, I already mentioned the ab, and, you know, you're a handsome lad, and to, uh, Two things that don't really help you much in a comedy career. Um, notice I didn't say anything about a joke or being funny. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's kind of what you need in this comedy racket. You need to have jokes, a lot of them, uh, or new ones, for instance. You know, um, you know, or maybe uh, you know, talent. There's that too. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's just like, you're my boy. and I mean, not in, you know, like my friend, you know, not in the, you know, <laughs> this is my boy who plows the back 40. Um, but, you know, Civil War, <laughs> sorry. Didn't mean to make a slave joke. <laughs> South lost. Oh, darn. <laughs> yeah, it's one thing I've never understood. Like, usually when a side loses a war, you don't celebrate it. So I don't understand why all these guys have, like, Confederate flags and stuff on their cars, like, and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, you guys lost once, right? Like, you don't see a lot of people, like, carrying Benito Mussolini flags going, ooh, El Duce for the victory. You know, he'll be back. Yay. Yay, fascism. No one says that. It's like, I don't understand why. The Confederate flag the, gets a free pass. It's like, you know, don't walk around with a swastika flag too often. I mean, not too often, at least, at least not if you want to get a good bagel or matzo ball soup. You <laughs> don't want it, or you need a lawyer or a heart surgeon uh, or an accountant. So yeah, I definitely don't want to.
do anything with the swastika. So, uh, what are you doing for your birthday, man? Are you, are you doing a comedy show? Or are you uh, begging out on the street? I mean, because I think the begging might be what you need to try to do to get a couple uh, extra bucks, because um, the comedy just doesn't seem to be working there for you. It's unfortunate. But anyway, look, all kidding aside, you're a good dude. You're a great man. You uh, got a motor on you, you know. Uh, if you had uh, Ford had your kind of motor, they wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't need to go diesel or hybrid. They would just, they'd just use Wayne motors. Would be. That thing got a Hemi? No, it's got a Man, 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 Manny, Manny, Manny guy. How the hell do you say your last name? There's not a black man on the planet with that name. Why can't you have a normal black person's last name? Like, usually with black people, it's the first name that's messed up that you can't pronounce. And it'd be like, yeah, yeah, this is my boy, Tequil Smith. Or, you know, LeDante Jackson. And in your case, you've got Wayne. You've got the preferred name of every single presidential assassin or serial killer in the world is Wayne. Think about it. There's a lot of them. It's kind of, kind of sad, actually. And yet your last name is the one that's unpronounceable. Man, Mandingo, Mandango, Fandango. It's like you're named after a website. Yet you're older than the Internet. That's trippy. I don't know what to say. Well, anyway, bud, I gotta, I gotta cut this short here. I'm uh, out here, like I said, I'm out here in Denver. I'm out in the white people's world. You know, we still have one place left. You know, we we drew a line in the sand at the North Platte River, and you guys can have the other side. We don't really want that. But as long as we've got skiing and microbrews, we're good out here. This will be our land. This is where we'll make our freedom. That's why they shot Red Dawn out here. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you have a good birthday, and uh, you know, hope uh, hope everything's uh, hope everything is good for you, man. You deserve it. You're a good guy, and yeah, I'll talk to you later. So anyway, you, you are. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you take care, bud. Okay.